The 10-minute version of All Too Well paints a fuller picture of Taylor Swift and Jake Gyllenhaal's breakup from the singer's point of view, and she points out their 11-year age difference in the heartbreaking lyrics. It's no secret that Taylor Swift's fan favorite song from Red, All Too Well, is about her breakup from Jake Gyllenhaal, and on Red, Taylor's version, she shared the full, original version of the song for the very first time. The song, which fans have been begging for Taylor to share for years, is more than 10 minutes long. In some of the new lyrics, Taylor details more about what happened when she and Jake broke up, the two dated for a few months in 2010 and were 10 years apart in age. You said if we had been closer in age, maybe it would have been fine, and that made me want to die," Taylor sings in the new All Too Well, revealing that Jake blamed the large age gap on the relationship's demise. She also hinted that the two secretly got back together after their breakup, only to realize that it was never meant to be. And there we are again, when nobody had to know, you kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath, she sings. Sacred prayer and we'd swear to remember it all too well. Of course, the song also features the original lyrics that fans have come to know and love, but there's also more than four minutes of additional track. Taylor's version also references the story told on another song from Red, The Moment I Knew, where Jake disappointed her by skipping her 21st birthday party. You who charmed my dad with self-effacing jokes, sipping coffee like you were on a late night night show," Taylor writes. But then he watched me watch the front door, all night, willing you to come, and he said, it's supposed to be fun, turning 21. Related Gallery Taylor Swift's Sexiest Photos Red is the second album that Taylor re-recorded and publicly released. Earlier this year, she dropped the new version of Fearless, which contained six new songs that had never been heard before. We've also gotten to hear Taylor's version of the song Wildest Dreams, which is from 1989. However, Taylor has not confirmed when the full re-recorded version of 1989 will be released. In addition to these three albums, Taylor will also be re-recording the three other albums that she no longer owns the masters to, Speak Now, Taylor Swift, and Reputation. Her three most recent albums, Lover, Folklore and Evermore, were all recorded under her new record label and are already owned by Taylor. See a full breakdown of why Taylor is re-recording her first six albums here.